What's going on guys, Greg DePalma. We're here at Susquehanna Fish and Tackle, and I wanna give you guys a really small tip when it comes to actually this time of the year coming through, you know, early pre-spawn, we deal with a lot of rain, a lot of wind, a lot of higher water, which also equals muddy water. So one of the key things that I can tell you over the years, and we probably have all seen it, you walk into a tackle store, you see 5,000 spinner baits, and it's like, okay, where do I even begin? But when it comes to the muddy water scenarios, which you're faced with in March, April, May a lot, you know, this is where you wanna use real vibrant colors, really bright colors. I mean, you guys hear us talk about it. These actually work really, really good. You can see on here, War Eagle, for example, you know, the chartreuse, the white, the straight chartreuse, but the color blades, them color blades really, really stand out. That's why they make these. I mean, th these are all tried and true stuff that have worked over years and years. You guys read in Bassmaster Magazine. Besides color, you wanna use a lot of vibration. A real good example for a lot of vibration for me, uh, you know, any kind of the Colorados, whether it's a War Eagle or going into a Booyah uh, spinnerbait, great choice when it comes to them vibrations, bright colors, really good muddy water scenarios. Besides that, if I had to pick one more to show you guys, I'm gonna go with a chatterbait. A chatterbait, it seems like for me, once I get to 45 degrees or warmer, the chatterbait really starts to shine. Kind of the same deal. You know, you wanna pick like your gold or your silver blades, but your chartreuse and white. If you're down south, the red, the, the fire crawls, the orange, the firecracker, all that stuff really seems to really make a big giant difference. Now when it comes to rod and reel setup, uh, you know, I'm gonna go for either like a 610 or maybe a seven foot medium to medium heavy rod. Uh, real wise, you want to kind of, it depends. If you're in a really, really scenario where you got to slow down, you know, you can pick your gear ratio to where you can slow roll that spinner bait or the chatter bait. Or if you're doing something where the fish are really aggressive, really biting, you know, you can speed yourself up real wise. It's actually going to give you more cast throughout the day. Uh, for me, it's going to be normally a seven foot medium heavy Shimano Zodius. Uh, a lot of times I got it paired with a Shimano Bantam. I like to have the eight one to one if I can. Just like I said, I can burn a lot more water, but I can also slow it down. Line-wise, nine times out of 10, it's gonna be a 20 pound, 100% high seas fluorocarbon line. Uh, all this stuff you guys see right here is available at Susquehanna Fish and Tackle or on the web at sfttackle.com.